Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> this is a little bit of a different setup here, but that's okay. Because today, I am going to be doing a Let's Play on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I love this game, and I can't wait to do a full playthrough on it. I don't think we're going to go for 100%, but we'll see. Alright, new game. Uh, oh my goodness, this wasn't here last time. I got this game way back when it came out, before all the updates. So now that all the updates are out, it's like... Oh damn. Might be a little bit of a different experience. We're playing on normal mode, of course, though. I don't want to chintz out. It's so majestic. I love the intro. Ah. Soft and Nintendo. There's our boy Rex. I think I'm going to play this one in the uh, English. Last time I, when I played it on my own, I played it in Japanese because I wasn't a big fan of the voice actors, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm playing this on a new user, so I don't know if uh, all my downloads are still here. I got the expansion pass, it'd be nice to have that to start off with. Yeah, this is a test episode anyways, I wanna... I have no idea how my voice is gonna pick up in this, or uh, how the audio in the game is gonna pick up either, so... I want to make my episodes longer too, maybe like 15 minutes instead of the usual 10, 11. Because this is going to be a longer game. Do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. Oh my god. The ping was off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you could gauge the profits in an instant. <laughs> Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right? 
I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can do the English. Oh, that's fucking loud. All right. Fucking right, let's take this guy on. I haven't played the beginning of this game in so long. From square one like this? Level one! Time to eat your lunch. Or earn your lunch, okay. Uh... I don't really feel like giving a tutorial. I already know how to play the game. So, I'm just gonna play the game. Okay. Time to take you, you just gotta- oh. Auto attacks or deliverance. Okay. So basically the whole game is just, uh, auto attacks for now. There are arts at the corner there, like the tutorials are getting to, but... Yeah, that's Anchor Shot. Produces an HP potion. You get more arts later on, and then the arts lead into specials, and then specials lead into chain attacks, and, uh... It gets pretty intense, honestly. The beginning... Gives off a bad impression of the combat, though, in my opinion. Like, it's really boring in the beginning. An entire horizon white. The sea you gotta give this game a good 30 hours to get good. World tree piercing the heavens. And this? This is the world we call home. All rest. The story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all this lived on the tree. Together with our divine father, the architect. The architect. The tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave it to live here in all this. Where it turns out life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived. Settled on the Titans, and we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. to move it, Gramps. No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Poor thing. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been. sense. Hey, Gramps, do you think Fonset Village will be gone soon one day? It will not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no 
eventually. There'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all West. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium and the Creator who's said to live there? such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great, for everyone, even folks in Fonse. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. To making money. Gotta make those fat stacks. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps. Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No. All right, we actually get to play the game. I forgot how long these cutscenes got. Don't, he's like, don't look at me. I don't fucking know. Come on, let's play the game. Torna. Where you at? All right. I don't even want to listen to tutorials. I get it. If you guys want to know how to play the game, you gotta go play it yourself. I feel like I'm not running at full speed. Is this full speed? Must be. Huh. I remember Rex running a lot faster. Oh well. <clears throat> this is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, guys. This has been the first episode. Just kind of an introduction, but uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll head on into Argentum here and uh, make some money, make some fat stacks for Rex with all his uh, salvaging work. But anyways, I'll see you guys then. Until then, peace.